Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Joni Young, if you're new here. Thank you all for joining me today for this winter painting tutorial. I'm working on a 16 by 20 double primed and pre-painted gray canvas. And I've got a number 50 filbert brush, a really large filbert brush I'm gonna be in this painting with. And I've got the following colors, titanium white, Mars black, phthalo blue, sap green, neon lemon yellow, warm yellow, orange and pink. I'll have a full list below this video of all the colors I'm using. So we're going to go ahead and get started uh, working on the trees in the background and the river in the front. So for the colors uh, for the trees, I really want to play on the blue and the green. So by mixing a little bit of the phthalo blue with that green, I can make um, more of a phthalo green color. However, I don't want to completely mix them to make just one. I want to have a little bit of each blue and green in my brush, and that way all the trees will be just a little bit different. So I'm going to just add a line just below halfway. So find the middle of your canvas and then go one to two inches below that middle mark. And then we're just going to pull across. Okay, just like this. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more blue and green. And I'm gonna start right about here and I'm gonna slide my brush back and forth. I'm gonna pull more to this side. So I'm gonna start a little bit closer to the left each time. Pick up a little bit more paint and continue along. And then I'm gonna bring it back this way. So towards the right. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush now just to help blend the acrylic. We'll just bring it back towards the left a little bit more. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to get a little bit of water in my brush again. I'm going to take some black, green, and blue. And I'm just going to go along that line again, and then along the edge. You can turn your brush this way as well so the handle is pointing up. And then just sweep in. This is going to give us a little bit more um, contrast and shadow along the edge. Okay, then I'll take a little bit more. And I'm going to start just gently pulling and flicking. I'll get a little bit more water on my brush to loosen all that paint up. See the difference? It really, really helps. And I'll just continue along, go all the way across. And 
And remember each time I'm picking up a little bit more green or a little bit more of the blue. And there's a hint of black in my brush as well. But mostly I'm just using green and blue. I'm rinsing my brush out and the next brush I'm going to be using is one of my liner brushes. This is a number two. I got it wet so you definitely want to have a little bit of water in your brush. Then I'm going to take some white and I'm just going to start pulling up some tree trunks. You can add these tree trunks on top of wet paint like I'm doing here, or you can add them on dry paint, it doesn't matter. But if you'd like them to blend in and pick up those other colors, making softer shades and tones, then you may wanna add it like I am here, wet on wet. So I'll make a few of them a little bit taller than the rest. And for the little branches, I'm just using the tip of my brush. So you want to make sure you're twisting and rolling your brush to get it nice and tight and together on the end. Pick up a little bit of paint so it's on the tip. And very lightly pull and wiggle out some smaller branches. I'm going to add a few more of these skinny tree trunks and then we're going to come in and add the tops of the trees and a little bit of frosty looking foliage with a soft mop brush. And if you don't have the same mop brush I'm using, use any type of stipple brush or any brush in a stipple type of um, brush stroke. The mop brush I'm using is a one inch round brush and I'm just going to be tapping. So I'm not going to be pulling, um, just tapping only with this brush. And I want to make sure you guys are um, hearing me mention that it's not wet. So you don't need to put it in the water. There's no water at all that we're going to be using for this 
Um, next step, dry brush and then into a little bit of white. Okay, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start lightly tapping. I want to concentrate on just the tops of the trees. And then we'll add, we want this to be darker in here for our lights. So maybe there's a little village back there. And those are the lights that we're going to be seeing. That's where they're coming from. I'm going to make some of my trees a little bit higher than the others. And then I'm just going to sweep softly just to make them look a little faded in the background. I'm going to take a little bit of that blue and green. Pull to low this time. Right in here, you can pick any area that you want. Just pull and sweep. You can go up and down. And this is just going to give us some really soft shades of these colors. A little bit more blue sometimes, a little bit more green. Change it up. So it's not always the same. Now this works best as a dry brush. However, if yours is too dry and you're unable to pull and spread this in this soft kind of way, then you can pick up just a tiny bit of water. What I recommend is having a little spray bottle in your studio. I don't have one on hand to show you and demonstrate right now, but you can just get a little spray bottle, turn it to the finest mist setting on it, and just stand about a, a, you know, a few inches away from uh, your canvas and just mist it. And that way um, you'll get a very, very soft blending. It's easier to do that than to put your brush in the water because then you get your brush too wet. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I've got this green that goes all the way up to the top there. I'm going to take a little bit of white, tapping, and I'm going to start adding a few branches coming down here. And this will give us a layered look. So we'll have, you know, a few trees that are a little bit um, brighter, a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go into my blue, the rest of my blue here. And I'm going to layer over a little bit here. You see, there's just so many ways to approach painting trees. I'm going to add just a little bit of green to help tie this all together. And then a little bit of white. I'm just going to wiggle. So I get mostly just one little part of it. And then I'll come over. See, just by loading one part of my brush only, I can make smaller tree tops or branches with it. Have a little bit more control. And I'm gonna take what's left in my brush and pull and sweep, just like that. And then a little bit more of the white. Okay, I'm gonna leave it gray here 
and I'm going to rinse my brush out. Okay, the next color I'm going to be uh, using is one that I forgot to add to my palette. And it's this one here, my light blue violet. And you can see as I hold it up against the canvas here in front of it, how pretty those colors look together. And just wait, once we add this and then come in with our warm colors, well, our cool yellow, warm yellow, orange and pink for some very soft pastel lights in the distance. And then we're gonna have reflections of those down in the water. It's gonna look so pretty. So I'll just add a little bit of this to my palette. I'm just looking for one of my larger filbert brushes. And I think uh, my number my number 30 here should be the right size because I'm just going to add the snow in kind of scoop like make it look a little lumpy and add some height on either side of the river to create a river bank that's covered in snow. So I'm going to go right in, straight in with no water on my brush. You don't need any water. It's just lovely blue violet. I use this a lot. I love it so much. It looks really pretty with a lot of colors. Okay, I'm going to start at the back here. So we're going to be able to see a little bit of this bank through the bridge that's on the other side. So just a little, little thin tap like that. And then I'm going to come in here and start making a little bit bigger. Now see how I'm going over and down. And then I'll continue over here. There's also a little hint of that warm gray. I happen to be using a slate gray. There's warm and cool shades of every color. So depending on what gray you use, yours may be a little bit different. And it'll look pretty no matter what. So uh, don't worry too much about trying to get the same shade. Now I'm going to come up a little bit higher here. We're going to have our bridge here, of course, so we want to line that up. And I'm just going to gently pull down a little bit here and there for a reflection. And then open up a little hair there. Let's get rid of that. So a few lines down and then a little bit across like this. It could be a bit of frost, some reflections in the water. Gives it a that more of that icy look. Okay, so that's the the first stage. Now I'm going to come in and add a few um, darker areas for the bottom part. So we've got the higher level up here where the bridge will be from and then 
um, the bank down on this side. So to make it look like it's not flat and more 3D, I'm gonna take a, a small filbert brush. This one happens to be a size two. And I'm gonna take some of my black and some green. I always like to add a color to my black whenever I can. Brings it a little bit more to life because black can be a little lifeless and flat. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down here. And I'm really just adding like little scoops, gentle little scoops. And then just a little line. And then I'll come in on this side. And I'm going to start right about here. So just picture all the rocks and the ground, little bits of it showing in between the snow. some thicker patches and some thinner ones. Okay, just rinsing my brush out and I'm gonna go back into my blue, a little bit of white. And now I'm going to pull straight out below that um, black that we added. We're going to add just a little bit more blue. And again, this could be a little bit of ice or a soft reflection. Then I'm going to take some more blue, a little scoop. And add these little half circle shapes over part of the black. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to go back over to my black and green mixture and I'm going to come right underneath here, slide my brush, just a little wiggle and slide. Just to flatten that a little bit. So we've got the flat ground underneath but then those little lumps that are the rocks. And a little bit more blue. So we've got a little bit of blue and white and then some of these areas that are more blue.
Okay, for the next step, I'm gonna go back over to my number 30 filbert brush. It's a little bit damp just from washing it out. And I'm gonna take a little bit of um, my light blue violet and a little bit of white. I'm gonna apply a dry brush over this area here to make it look more fuzzy, blurry, and soften it and just so that it looks like it's more in the, the distance. So I mix up the color I want and then I make sure that I've hardly got any on my brush. And I'm just gonna add it very thinly, little crisscrosses, figure eights, or little circles. See, it's transparent and it'll just soften this background up. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that blue. And when your bristles and your brush start to separate like that, that's a great opportunity to add your reflections in the water because you'll get you'll be able to do a few at once. So I'm just gonna line it up, pull. I'm going to rinse my brush out. And now we're going to go into our white, yellow, warm yellow, and a little bit of that orange. Make sure you're tinting your white only. You don't want to have, you want to have more white paint than the colors you're using because it will dry a little bit darker. Just a little bit more of that yellow. Okay, so once you've mixed up the color, I'm gonna get a little bit to work with on the tip of your brush. And I'm gonna start adding some light back here. This is the riverbank behind on the other side of the bridge. So this is the, the lights reflecting down on the snow. And there's some dips in the snow, right? So only on the top. So you can do these little scoops. And then we'll come over to this side. And I'm gonna go right above, just like that. And then we'll add a few areas here, just a few more little scoops. And have just a few subtle ones that come down here. If they're too bright, we can um, add a little bit of blue, and I'll just add a little bit of blue right now and show you, mixed in with that peachy color. So it's really easy 
to alter the color. So just a little bit more light going on right here. I'm going to rinse that brush out. And I'm going to go back over to my number two filbert brush. And just add a little bit of blue in here. this riverbank separate just to so that we can see the blue a little bit more and I'll bring the height up a little bit here it's a really quick and easy way to do that just by making these areas here instead of a little line, adding a little bit more black up top above them. Just pick a few areas, you don't have to do it everywhere. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is add some highlights. We'll add the lights and the glow in the water. So I think because this is still a little bit wet right here, I'll focus on adding the lights above first. So I'm going to take these colors here with more white. Remember, you got to use more white. And I'm going to start just going around. And what I'm doing is I'm twisting my brush like this as I'm applying the paint. So I tap, twist, a little bit more white on there. And this just picture like a little village. Maybe there's a little church somewhere in there and a bunch of little cottages, cabins, houses. So that's what all the lights are coming from. And all they are are just little dots of light that we can see. And I'm going to gently brush over. Okay, right up to that river bank. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the orange and some pink this time. Don't forget to make sure that you've got more white than any of the colors. I'm just going to go over this area right here, adding a little bit more of the pink and orange. And I'm just going to start tapping a little bit fuller and thicker here, turning my brush. around and soften so you can really be loose with the brush and the paint so 
a little bit more pink. And then here and there, add a hint on the snow. So just picture a cool, frosty, foggy winter night. And that'll just make everything look kind of like it's just a, a glowing mist of color or colors here and there. So I don't wanna see, I'm not gonna make any chimneys or rooftops or anything like that. I just wanna add just soft colors. I think that we could maybe start adding some reflections in the water. So with all those colors in any order you want, line it up and just pull and drop. Some go all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. I'll add some here. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit more orange now. And start coming back here. And I'm going to turn my brush over like this, flat, and gently scumble around. A little bit more pink. So as long as you just change it up here and there, or if you just want to have less color and just keep it more of a soft gold tinted white for your lights, that's fine too. And then I'm going to go up like this and slide. I'm going to take a little bit of white with pink, a little bit more white.
then I'm going to scundle and soften with my 30 filbert brush. I'm going to go down again and then slightly across. So down. Add a little bit of color to the snow on the sides. Just going to tap in here to a little bit of, I picked up a little, little bit of that sap green by accident, but I'm going to go with it. I've got more yellow and white in there than anything. Tap out the end of my brush. And tap, tap, tap. over to my small filbert brush, a little bit of white, peach, so it's really up to you how much color you want to add, where you want to add it, there's just so many options and I think it just looks so pretty to add all of these colors, but it's different for everybody. Some of us like less color. Some of you may want to add even more than this. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue pink. Make a soft. Sort of a lavender, smoky lavender color. more light there. And then a few of these at the base. I'm going to take a little bit more blue, clean brush, and go in between some of these. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Add a little bit more blue to the base there. And I think we can start coming in with our bridge now. Okay, to start the bridge, I'm gonna be using my number 30 filbert brush. And I'm gonna be using some blue, a little bit of black. So bluey gray color. And we're going to have it from here to here. So I'm just going to go up and over like this. 
Feel free to draw yours out first if you want, whatever you're comfortable with. You guys know I like to freehand. And then reflection in the water. So just a down and then scoop around. Okay, so I'm using number 16 filbert now just to get in here easier with straight black on one part of the bridge, up and over, and then right underneath, and here as well, for the dark, dark shadow. We'll just add a little bit of black on either side for the base. And then I'll take a little bit more and then black. And we'll come over from here. And we'll start going up and over. Don't bring it up too much higher, just a soft slope and sweep down. And then just pushing and pulling in different directions like this all the way back over to the other side And the edges of the bridge, we're going to just add snow to kind of tuck them in and make them look covered and like the bridge has been here for a long time. Okay, I'm going to take some more of my blue. Have a little bit more we're going to line this up now so this is going to be back here and we just wanted to have some room to have our reflection down below so i made this come out a little bit lower and we'll add some snow Okay, now back over to my blue. You just go around the edges. And then I'll come in and add a little bit more of that reflection or little bits of ice sitting on top of the water. And same with here. Okay, 
really is such an easy illusion to create. You can all do it. Bring back a little bit more riverbank there. Apply a little bit more of the blue, make it a bit thicker. And then a little bit of white, a little bit of pink. And then back over to some yellow, orange, and white. And I'll add some more light above the riverbank. I'm going to go across the top of the bridge with that peach color. Pick up a little bit more yellow and white. And this time when I when I pull and drop down, I'm going to go back up and created like a really tight zigzag. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle while you're traveling with the brush going back up. And I'm gonna go right underneath here. So I want these to feel like they're little bits of sheets of thin sheets of ice on the water. And then I'll come back and add some more lights. You know, because acrylic paint dries a little darker, so it's really normal to have to go back and add more highlights or more color once it dries. Okay, I'm gonna be using my short stippler brush and I'm gonna take some white and I'm just gonna dab and twist some more little lights here. Or you can just tap. The more you push, the more pressure you use, the bigger it's going to be, right? And ultimately you want a few different sizes. Now, if you're a little bit afraid of adding these little dots for the lights, you can, a really easy way of doing it actually is just um, using a toothbrush. I go right under there where it could be a little bit brighter. And I'm going to go into 
with this peach on my brush, a little bit of blue and black, a little bit of white. This will give me a warm kind of taupe, a grayish color. And I'm going to start pulling in those stones again. I'm using this round stippler so that I get that rounded end to my stones. But if you want yours to look more square, I like the, the rounded old stone look, but you can use a flat brush, a flat ended brush, if you want yours to be a little bit edgier looking. And then I'll just take a little bit of water and work some of that out. Adding a little bit more of my gray and a little bit of blue. And I'm just going to start this way now. Coming in with the stones more horizontally then vertically like this. And then with black, place my pinky here, right here where I know it's dry. I'm going to go up. Just define that a little bit more. I'm going to switch over to um, a little liner brush here. Just use any small liner brush and I'm going to take some of my black and a little bit of blue making my gray darker than the gray that we applied before. I'm just going to go in between I don't want anything to look perfectly straight. I want this to have character and, and feel old. So the stones don't have to be evenly spaced. Okay, then I'm going to come in and loop around these other ones. Where it gets thinner and skinnier up here, we can just do little, little squiggly loops. Then we'll go back to that uh, taupey color.
and just dab, dab, dab for some raw, smaller ones here at the top and the side. And take a little bit of black again, and go underneath some of these areas. A little bit of blue and black again. And clean brush. A little bit of yellow. Yellows and orange. And I'm going to come in here and add a tree that stands out a little bit more than the others. So I'll use a liner brush again. And I'm going to add a little bit of orange to my black just to warm it up a bit, make a dark, dark brown. Picking up some water to really help that come out of the brush and flow. I'm going to add one right about here. So I'll just add a little dab here. I'm gently going to push and twist and then let off. And I'll add some branches. Remember to use less pressure where you want to add thinner, smaller branches. I'm going to use my round mop brush again and I'm going to take a little bit of blue and a little bit of that black and orange. More blue than that dark color though, so just kind of a bluey gray, very light. No water on my brush, just paint. And I'm just going to start tapping in. areas here and then I'm going to come back in a little bit of blue a little bit of pink and white so now we're just gonna add a little bit of a, a pinky tinge before we come in with some more white I'm going to add a little bit on the side here, just swirling around with my brush. OK, 
Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit more, but with white. Apply just a little bit of this. And a little bit, maybe just a little something there. sweep off a little bit of what's left in my brush and what I want to do next is add back over to my liner brush some blue for some snow and shadow on the side A little bit of white with the blue. Twist and roll, get a little bit on the end of the brush. back over to my filbert brush I'm going to take a little bit of that black again a little bit of water just to thin it we've got our black darkest shadow there I'm gonna add just a little shadow on either side I'm going to go right underneath the very top bright highlight of the bridge just to find that and outline that a little bit. And then adding a little bit of black here and there in between the stones. And one last thing, I'm going to add a lamp post right here. I'm going to take some black and I'm just going to go for it. Slightly wider down at the base. A little loop. And another loop, thicker. Okay, I'm going to add a line right there. One here that comes in, in, in.
thicker on the top. Another little one right down below. A little triangle. And a dab on the top. And I'm going to add a little bit of white and blue on the top. And a little bit down here. Scoop up and then back down. Take a little bit more black. Three dab. And then just right down here, a little bit of dry brush for shadow. Dry brush, a little bit of either blue or black or just gray. Mix the color you want. Take most of it off so your brush is dry. And then just a little back and forth. Just for a little shadow. Okay, now we can start working on the light inside. So for the light, I'm going to take the yellow-orange, both yellows and orange. Just go inside a little bit like that. And then I'm going to go over to my liner brush and I'm going to add a little bit inside. Mix up a bit more orange. You can really make whatever color you want inside your lamp. You can have yours more yellow or orange or even a little bit of pink. But I'm going to add a little bit more of my warm yellow. Both yellows in the middle here. Okay, then a little bit of black.
a few little little curls like this pull in and another dab on the top okay a few more lights and then this painting will be all done a little bit more white yellow orange pink And then scumble a few of them around. That way they look more out of focus and blurry. Gonna add a little bit more light back here, and just any one of those pink, yellow, or orange with the white colors. up a little bit on the pink just a little bit more and then lastly one last coat of snow Just on the side of the tree here. And a little bit, oh, let's add a little bit more pink to that blue and white. I'm gonna break up this shadow a little bit because it's a pretty solid color. A 
little dab of white right there. Tiny bit of blue. Go down and scoop up. Down. Just a little bit in these little areas right here. Okay, well this painting is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you want to paint along. Thank you so much for all your support here on my channel and on Patreon. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. See you soon in my next video. Bye!